president may talk more about immigration when he comes to Minnesota later today. President Trump will be in Duluth for a Make America Great Again rally. This will be his first visit to Minnesota since he became president. He's first going to take part in a roundtable discussion on protecting American workers. We know some Minnesotans in the logging and mining industries will be at the table. Then at 6.30, President Trump will speak at the campaign-style rally at Amsoil Arena. Tickets to that event are free through the Internet. Earlier this week, we talked with some people on Nicollet Mall about what they thought of the president visiting Minnesota. One woman said that she was going to Duluth to protest. Because I'm a student, I'm invested in my future, and I don't have a good future when Donald Trump is president. In Minnesota, we have strong progressive values, and we are a state that cares about other human beings, and he does not, so he should stay away. I feel like it'd be a good opportunity for this blue state to get a little bit more red and have a little bit more understanding of what Trump's actually going to contribute to this country instead of being so close-minded. No matter who the president is, I think they they should come, they should speak. Um, it, if anyone has a right to speak, it's definitely the president. People should, whether you agree with them or disagree with them, I, I feel like you should hear what he has to say and then make your own judgment on that. Republican congressional candidate Pete Stauber says that he will be meeting with President Trump today in Duluth. Stauber is a St. Louis County Commissioner and the Republican endorsed candidate for the 8th Congressional District. This is one of the most important congressional races in the country. Democratic Congressman Rick Nolan is not running for re-election in this race. The DFL has yet to endorse a candidate for this congressional seat. Four Democrats have announced they're running for the DFL primary in August. Their names are Kirsten Kennedy, Michelle Lee, Jason Metza, and Joe Radinovich. We will have team coverage of the president's visit to Duluth on our evening newscast. Head over to WCCO.com and our Facebook page for a live stream of his speech that starts at 6.30 in Duluth.